Appenzell in eastern Switzerland, a picture postcard landscape. Lucius green pastures, blue skies, steep mountains looming in the distance, and plenty of cows producing plenty of milk. At the showcase dairy in the town of Stein, some 5,550 gallons of milk are delivered every day. We are going to show you how this milk is turned into world-famous Appenzeller cheese. For hygienic reasons, only cheesemakers are allowed to enter this room as a rule. Today, however, you get to watch them at work. The milk is heated in this large steel vessel, the cheese vat. The rennet has just been added to the milk to initiate coagulation. A cheese harp, moved in very specific ways, is used to cut the curdled milk into regular little cubes. Then the vat's contents are pumped off. The mass is split up into 80 round indentations, simultaneously serving as sieves and cheese molds. The liquid drains away, leaving behind the cheese curds. These are now pressed. During this process, each cheese wheel is subjected to a pressure of up to 240 pounds. Each Appenzeller cheese is marked with a cheese ID. The cheese ID is like a birth certificate. It includes the place of origin, the date of production and the certificate, and the certificate of authenticity. The cheese wheels are now left to dry in a special container for 20 hours. Then they are immersed in brine. The brine is made up of 4,755 gallons of water and a whopping almost 4 tons of salt. Day by day another 110 pounds of salt are added because the cheese absorbs salt and discharges water. This is the cheese cellar, where the cheese wheels are now stored. The temperature is kept at between 57 and 59 degrees Fahrenheit, the humidity at 93%. Up to 12,700 Appenzeller cheese wheels at once mature on the high storage shelves. The Appenzeller cheese gets its characteristic taste from being generously rubbed with a herbal brine, made from a fabled recipe. Only two people know what goes into this top-secret natural cheese balm. It is the herbal brine that gives the Appenzeller cheese its unique taste. And this is why cheese aficionados around the world love it so much. Well, 